Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna go do an install, but before I do, I'll just give you a quick um, rundown of what the go is. So, it's a house that the customer wants to air condition the whole house, but the way that it's designed, um, we're gonna do a Dakin multi-unit upstairs, and then an underfloor ducted unit downstairs. So, when I was there quoting it, I saw that the switchboard was very old, so I said you'll most likely need to get this upgraded. I sent a picture to my electrician. He's like, yeah, it definitely needs to be upgraded. And also, that position doesn't comply anymore, so it needs to be relocated. So it's a bit of a big one, um, like a big job in the sense that there's a bit going on, but it's all good. So basically... I went there yesterday uh, because um, the electricians were there to start doing some work and I just went there yesterday to tell them exactly where I want the isolators put for both units. So I'm super busy at the moment, I've got a lot going through my head, with I've got a million jobs happening. So I'm just like, I'm just going to go there, I picked up one of the units, I picked up some brackets, put some brackets on the wall marked out where I want everything um, and actually got them to help me put a unit up and anyway long story short they've they're gonna go back on Monday and um, do like a switchboard changeover today's Friday I've just got some other stuff to do this morning um, and then I'm gonna go to that job and I decided you know I'm just gonna try to get one I put both indoor units up yesterday as well but I'm going to try like fully complete one run. So it's a two head multi. So like I want one fully piped up and um, wired up and whatever. So going to go do that today with what's left of the day. And then I'll make some time next week to go and connect the other run up. So it's all happening. It's getting busy. And when you're self-employed, it doesn't take much for you to have way too much on. So... Um, yeah, it's pretty hectic at the moment, but all good. I'm not complaining. I just wanted to give you a bit of a, an idea of what this job is. So anyway, let's go to the job and get it sorted. Let's go. So this is the new switchboard. It's just been like roughed in at this point. It's not connected, but that is in the side passageway now. So this side passageway is a southern wall, this is where the bins and the hot water is, so we've decided this is a good spot to put the aircon units, so it's up high enough that you can still walk up and down, that's the unit, there will be a ducted unit here, so I just came yesterday and basically told them exactly where I want the isolators, so that's dead level ducted unit will go here and it'll be a bit higher but it'll be the same level this is just a staircase so noise won't be an issue plus it's double brick and in here that's just like a big open living space there's no bedrooms or anything but basically this one is going to be feeding a bedroom up here and a bedroom on the other side of the house um, so I think it's a good spot for it Like I said, you can't, you can still access and um, yeah, the ducted's doing the downstairs area, the multi's doing the upstairs area, so anyway, I'm here now, I'm going to get these one run done, so it's fully done, drain's going to go down, across, wire it up, and then I'll find some time next week to come do the other run. Alright, so trunking's on, core hole sealed, core hole sealed, it went down through the bottom plate across, so that's done, and the drain just comes out, it will drip on top of that flashing, and down to the gutter. That way there's no way of it tracking back. 
personally think it's the best option. So when it comes down there, it goes through the roof cavity, down this trunking, straight on. So that's one run. That is a six metre pipe run that I did by myself. Um, yeah, and what I meant by the drain was tracking back. Like if you go across that gutter there and the gutter blocks up, um, the water will just start pissing out into the room. So I think that's the best option. Just go in there, straight onto the tiles and down to the gutter. And the gutter's getting redone. So I think that's the best thing. And um, yeah, the pipes go down, cross. And I'll pipe that up now. Like I said, there's a duct bed going there, bracketed in line, it'll sit in between those isolators. And on this side, it's going to go across up to this roof cavity, and the pipes will go across to the other room. <laughs>
all right, that one's done. Trunking through the roof, trunking to up to the upstairs bedroom. I've locked that off so no one can run it. Drain down across. And I just added a little bit of coro just go in there. Um so now it's gonna come back and just another um, 90 up straight to that roof. So that one, will, I reckon that one will be easier. And obviously don't need to do the drain, I don't need to do the power. So, yep. Really good. And then we gotta get started on the other one. And my phone doesn't stop ringing. How good. Stressful. Anyway, we'll leave that here for next time. Let's get out of here. <laughs>